We are back. We were going to talk to Fig, but we're going to go to Hogsmeade instead. We have to sell some crap. Because I've got too much loots and I want more loots. Uh, fast travel there. I really hope very soon we can uh, Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Rebellio certainly never oh, well, we can, uh, the charm of my potions, Professor, back when I was in school. Get some more slots oh, for, my, for my loots. Where was that going? Oh, here. That's where I was going. The top hats. Get out of the way. Move a lady. You're worrying far too much. Nobody's looking at you. Oh, Why did you buy me a second pair? I hate these socks. Novelty socks, socks at that price can't Look be around. passed up. And if you've been eating chocolate I'd frogs, have please refrain from dancing like this. You're not dancing, you're exercising. Father, like... why is he dancing? See? And you'd said the chant. I feel like all the background noises are loud. Hasn't. I've never known someone so dramatic just like your father. And Maybe. anyone think you had an affliction. That's better. Has he been cursed? Okay. Oh, please, can't we take these socks back to Mr. Hill and get me some when normal ones? When you pay ones? for your own socks, then you get to... Why are they arguing so much? You'll learn to be thrifty and behave. You're starting to cause a scene. Papa, can we really wash Charles out of things anyway? Don't be absurd. That woman will say anything to avoid spending a canut. Oh my gosh, so many people talking. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Okay, I won't, but I will sell some stuff. Um, how do I know if I'm wearing it? What can I wear? I suspect okay. you have a sharp eye for fashion. No, I not really. I don't. Okay, so we got the twenty-five legends. So anything is six, eight. I'm gonna grab glasses in there, so green hats, four. I can really get rid of most things. Twenties. Anything that's a 20. Not nah, nah, whenever you're about. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. So, so. if I haven't said it before, it's a so. pleasure doing business with you. So, we're in over here. Oh wait, is it? Is this all the stuff I'm not wearing right now? Oh, it's gotta be, right? 
Yeah, I haven't run to any. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Everything that I wanted. Can I, even though today, if I found the other stuff, okay, yeah, so the other styles still stay there even if I were to sell this. Okay, whatever. You're to stop by whenever you're about. Okay, I won't, but possibly. You just have some uh, some tap shoes. The tappy tap. Can I do it with you? Uh, yeah, I see that. Look, 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 look at my moves. Uh, 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 uh. Boy's going to town. Look at him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Get it, get it. Get it? Uh, style, 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 style. Can we Lumos. Like the piano? Do the dance? Do the dance? Don't ever stop, sir. Keep dancing your heart out. <laughs> Are you all drunk? <laughs> Like, I don't know what y'all doing. That's some terrible pretending. Look at being uh, a little bit laggy. Anyways, terrible, terrible pretending. Like, who stops like that? Whose kids are these? Ma'am, ma'am, are these your kids? Is they, are they stupid as hell? Or they're drunk as hell, too. Anyways. Okay, so I gotta go see Fig. Revelio. There's a team. Where's his team? Not saying I don't cast the team. Ah, there we go. Uh honey dukes. Candy. Cotton candy. Um, I would like the green one, please. I'd be in the store all the time. Uh, we had a store like this in our life. Revelio. Remind me. Let's put more pages. Oh, oh. 
no, no, no. Try that one too. Delicious. Locks, more locks. We gotta learn how to unlock stuff here. Get fat eating all this stuff. Whatever cake that is. Some more cake, some carrot cake, some cupcakes, all the cakes. Alright. we go. Revelio. Oh. I heard a ting. Where the ting go? Are you in here? You know, I could have swore I collected all these field guides, but maybe these shops are open now, so it's gonna give me more field guides for stealing everybody's shit. Hmm. You know, after all those caves, better eat some out. This is quaint. I came here to sell all my shit, and all I'm doing is like collecting a bunch of more shit. So. Revelio. Tingity ting. Tingity ting. Escape me. Bags. This is drunk kids again. Seem to stay close to Scrivenchef's quill shop. Perhaps it's the but who's it enticing or perhaps it's the treats the owner often leaves. It's probably the treats. It's totally the treats. You feed cat once, it stays with you. Yeah, kitty 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 kitty. Go in here yeah. and come on in and have a look around. No sell the crap that, that I just picked up. <laughs> oh. Oh dang, it's not crap. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. It's not crap at all. Look at, look at that. Sixteen to twenty-nine. Yeah, just not that style, you know. Okay. What else would I grab? 24, can't upgrade. This one you can upgrade. Superb, well appointed. Okay. So put that. Uh Yeah. I'm not gonna do anything. Keep it keep it simple here. Uh twenty two, you can upgrade this one, we'll keep it twenty two. Then I got a hat or something. Dang thirty seven. 
Legendary? <laughs> Looks like the sorting hat. It's too much. Too much. Plus it hides my beautiful hair, so. Now, whatever you're about. Now, so plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. So, 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 and so. I am. I expect rich. you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Uh, no, I'll be here just to tell you shit. Rebellion. Because I'm getting rich by uh, stealing other people's crap. Not bad. Oh. You have a second door to this building. Did not know that. What was that team at? What am I missing? I feel like it's like right here. Yeah, it's like right in here. Where is it at? Rebellion. There you are. Jeez. And he's got a... Uh, before you ask, I'm all out of the new sock. So if your feet are smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. He's got a sneaky sneak chest here that I can take. Sneakity sneak, sneakity sneak. You don't know nothing, no nothing. Bam. Alright. Um let's kind of make our Revenue. way out of here. Try to track down the teams as I'm going. There you are. It's like crazy ridiculous how fast these uh, field guides, without doing much, has upgraded me to level 13. <laughs> More teens. Revelio. Are you by chance up in here? The fireworks place? Let's. You can put an eye out with that thing. There you are. Oh. Did I do that? Sorry. Oh. It's a dangerous. Don't. Uh, me. Rebellion. Run, 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 run. Why are they eyeing me? What is that? What is that? You hear it? It's like right next to me. There they are. Keeps. Pretty sure this store wouldn't be in business in this uh, economy here. Too many regulations, safety hazards. Revelio. Okay. Back to Fig. I hear a ting. Is it in here? Sticks. Is 
didn't I initially get a field guide in here? Some upstairs. Folks still talk about you taking down that troll in the village circle. Not do they? Revelio. Closer. I feel like if I keep looking, they do a good job with the team though, man. Like, it really makes you want to keep searching for shit. It's sometimes it seems all roads lead. Accio. Hmm. Revelio. What's that? Is it that? Here. No. Let No. Incendio. Oh, shit. Revelio. Handy hmm. resource indeed, your field guide. Mm -hmm. My parents were thrilled to hear that black. Okay, well, we'll come back. Let's go back to Fig. All I'm doing is run around. Polo. Go, 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 go. And wait. Or begin. Don't know how to read. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense yes it is rather unorthodox to say the least unorthodox it's inconceivable it's ah fig you have a visitor i'll see what i can find out hmm. hmm sir i was able to search the restricted section while you were with professor black it was a book we were after what that's Wait, you accessed the restricted section? Mm -hmm. But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was Don't below the one. restricted section as it appeared yeah. on the map. I want to hear to everything. First, library. let's have a look. Oh. Oh dear, some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, it's the exactly the same thing I, I say time whenever to I go study to the library what and physically get a book. You know? Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. 
The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. Hmm. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. Okay. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Mm -hmm. Good advice, good advice. Need some bookshelves up in here. See all these pile of books all over the place? I feel like with some of that magic, you can build some shelves. A little organized. Maybe that's why you haven't cracked this code yet. Big. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. All right, Daddy. All right. Sequex, collectibles. Uh-huh. In other words, more shit for me to do. Dungeons, many games, me one of the blah 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 blah. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Hmm. Okay. So... Maddie... Apology class... Why did she practice? Ooh, it's Spelliamus. Uh, maybe we'll go to Herbology class real quick. Before talking to Maddie. Yeah. So we'll yeah. Um, get my learns on. Learn about some plants. Uh, what am I going? Assuming the greenhouse, right? Yes. Can I floof over there? Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. Seriously, I have not gotten to the side of the castle yet. Uh, I'll go to the central hall first. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> and run. Run, 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 run. This is cool. Revelio. Yes. Good team in here. Ooh, 24, 25. Big box. Ah, oh, this is a cool greenhouse. Mm -hmm. Supposed to go in here. I didn't get a floof, so it's good. Revelio. Where's that team at? It's my right somewhere. Okay, over the class. This is cool. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. Hmm. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing ball. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Okay. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Pulling. Oh! Oh! Why? Why? Quickly, place your mandrake in the new core and pack down the soil! Why won't you give us that instruction beforehand? Good thing I'm wearing gloves. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. She's a little weird. Repero. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Hmm. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a... I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Right. That's what I said. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Is that supposed to be profound? Hmm. hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs Yo. like not grass. Natty. What's going on? Oh, didn't he lose? Malice weeds. Hmm. Hello, girls. Did you know? That you can use the mandrake to defend yourself. Why the very idea? Yeah, break their eardrums, eh? What are you whispering? Seekers don't make friends. 
I think it's rather unique that you can see the lake from the Slytherin common room. I bet all of the houses would appreciate it if you asked them. Someone was practicing with a broken wand in the common room last night. It looked like a war had broken out. I've always wondered what the other houses' common rooms looked like. Ours is the best, of course. Still, I do wonder. It's my favorite place in the entire school. If I didn't have that fireplace to sit mm. next to, I think I should be terribly homesick. Are you gossiping? What do you have to I say? do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Right? So it's strange. Right. Exactly. Okay. Do you find um, yourself taking certain ways to What up, garlic? Wait. Uh, hold on. Can I, can I harvest these two? I can take that. There you go. Didn't me. It's okay with What about this? Can I interact with this? Looks pretty dangerous. Yo, talk to me, Garth. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Mm -hmm. Just slap it around a little bit. I'll say. Nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. Oh, I already, grabbed I some. already have Sorry. some, Professor. Yeah, there you go. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. Oh, You've plus visited I them the up magic neep. <gasps> Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see hmm. how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Nifla's fancy oh, or roses. Dittany's restorative right properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Uh, so this is how you make the uh, the healing potion. Ready in nine minutes. Heal five. Okay. Done! Once it can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in Wiganweld Potion. Cool. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. Mm -hmm. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Okay. Such danger. Can I talk to you again? What up, girl? What should I be doing right now? I'd like you to get some hands-on experience with the Chinese okay. chomping cabbages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, They're in blah, the blah. greenhouse, just across the footbridge. Mr. Pruitt will assist you with them. Okay, got it. Who's Mr. Pruitt? This one? Now remember... Oh, Hello. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Why are you... Up these stairs will take us there. Like, not but looking at Your lead. Okay, I lead. Like I'm supposed to know where I'm going here because Not I have a handy dad. Against now. the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me. Oh, Your jewel with Sebastian, Bam. and he's good. Chest. <laughs> Thinks he's really good, but you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Darn right, I did. Oh, well. Oh. Thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. No, I mean, you did. I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Yeah, Didn't see? she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb once. Don't worry, Nurse Blaney put it back on. I do not want to go through that. Okay. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. How do you do that? 
tab. Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Can Did save from the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils ah. in tatters. No, okay. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? Yeah. My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course. You're, uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants, too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we, uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Okay. He's very scared. I'll do whatever I can do to continue to make him fear me. Connect by Baldies. Like, I wonder if, uh, kind of like other games where the interactions you have with some of these characters um, dictates how they are willing and can help you in the future. You know what I mean? It's like if I was kind of a douchebag to one of them, will they refuse to uh, help me in the future? I mean, if so, that'd be kind of cool. And kind of sad at the same time, because I really have been too putting too much thought into my responses. So. They'll all probably just take me up, you know. Would I be lonely? With no friends? Having to fight all the peeps on my own. Dude, where am I going? Map issues again. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. The bed loves them. And good, good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Mm -hmm. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new hmm. students. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think I will. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my... So, if you hold tab... This is where you can kind of keep your potions and stuff. Oh, it tells you how you can. Help 
open. Run, 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 run. Nope, maps. Can't follow maps. Wouldn't that be aura or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. <laughs> yeah, he is. Said Dumbledore. Okay, let's do this. Revelio. You know what? I forgot about that team in uh, herbology to class too. Like Trolls have no business in Hogsmeade. Yeah, I bet you there was a field guy. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. Pretty sure there's not many classes that you will begin you this know, term by brewing a Wigan Weld up. potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Ooh, Professor Shaw. I know. If you're dying, the Wigan Weld potion heal. can be used to sterilize and even heal. A variety of injuries. Mm -hmm. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. The cow. Oh, from the book. <laughs> Duh. Use a strong, Ooh. even motion when crushing your ingredients. I feel like I'm making some chili. Okay, this way. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be yeah, disastrous. Pinch. There we go. And, uh, pork lump juice. Oh, a second drip. Third drip, fourth drip. And we stir it. Mm -hmm. Tasty. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Pretty easy. Do you, mm. do you stir clockwise? Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Good. For mm. the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. Has a, uh, but in the future, you'll be awesome expected scarf. to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Even Come and steal. see me when you've finished brewing. Steal them. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Okay. Professor Shaw. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin. I was talking to her. What were you saying, girl? My Wiganwell potion is utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from Jay Pippins. I mean, it's boiling just the same as everybody else's. What you got Professor say? Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an aura. I wish he talked about it more. I don't know what that is, but okay. Fine job brewing your first Wiccan Wild potion. Well, thank there you. are many potions yet to learn. 
This is going to be a busy year. She sounds very excited. Okay, whatever. Let's get this. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Nice. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I yeah. simply need so a single to him, foot of feather. Like as you'll already be in space, Sharp's right? office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Well, you know, we all like a bit of trouble, I'll right? I'll get you the so. Fruper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fruper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Well, I feel like that's a lie, because if they weren't that valuable, why does he have one? You know? You can just purchase that? So I feel like this is going to be, like, super rare. Brewing potion. I'll just collect everything in here. Corrugated birds has an increased amount of activity outside the orange of birds. Did you already get what I'm supposed to be getting here? The egg tray. And then optional to steal this thing. Yeah, see, that looks like valuable from a big, ginormous bird. Oh, I'll fuck it. I'll take it. Yeah, see, look at that. Flipper. Pink. Keep your potion stations organized and free of clutter. Here's the flipper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank We're you! Both gonna get in trouble, this right? is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adjurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. I'm sure we'll know. Proficiency and potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. One eggs, one fur. So we just wait for this to be done. Sounds pretty gross, a lot of fur all up in there. Pretty fast. Pick up. Mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Run away, run away. Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah. Duck, everybody, duck. Oh. Dragon duck. What happened? <laughs> Weasley. Well done, Gareth. What an idiot. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again, <laughs> Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Mm, you don't know. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Okay. I brewed an Adora's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. So you don't know. 
but who cares about like lying about that? Might as well just be honest, right? Yeah, I did it. So what's up? I'm sorry, what are you Professor. Do? I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work yeah. you did today I'm at your sorry, own cauldron, I will see. say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Okay. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Did I just do that? Is it any player? Ah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, what happened, Weasley? That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. <laughs> So I'm gonna. So let's go talk to Natty. She got some info. And maybe I'm gonna meet her south of Hogwarts. So maybe I can go out and interact with some enemies and uh, take this one out. I think it's planned. Okay. Um. Nick Loof. Oh, hell yeah, I'm Floofman. Or... No. Or that? Shiza. Oh man, dang it, I don't have a flute nearby. Yeah, I did that one. Close enough. I remember getting this one. Like, when did I get this flame? Uh, 
Hagrid space? Yeah, it is Hagrid space. So let's put no production. Yeah, groundskeepers, right? Or no, this is groundskeepers, it's not. Kinda look like that, high grades. I should investigate. I want to investigate. This? This is a big world. Okay. Um. Leviosa. Huh? Incendio. Uh. Accio. Okay. In the desert. There we go. Nice. All right. Natty, you're gonna have to wait. Sorry. Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing. What is this? Leech juice. Can I 
swim. Nice. Let's get the floof so I don't have to... It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Hmm. Hmm. So this is the. It's already told Sebastian. A little bit, right? Not everything. This is like my friend group, right? So can I trust her? I feel like I can trust her more than Sebastian. At least right now. Thug it. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A portkey brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. You know, For now, say, it is safe to say that Rupert and Hollow are a threat to they both like of us, to, to all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Mm, you sure, girl? Could be dangerous. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own, and the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Halo is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's the homegirl right there. Be on your guard. Will do. You too. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten what? me? What's going on here? Yeah, who's talking? Although, I kind of want to look at all these chests. You see all that on my mini map down there? Okay, fine. We'll go over here. We'll go see what she's yelling about. They must have come this way. Think! <laughs> I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Now, what did you say? I... Speak of the devil. You watch your mouth, Mr. sir. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be... <laughs> Enough of hey. Leave her alone. Hey. So, Red bitch. Oh, okay. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Oh, Hatter. 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the enemy type. You may either let me into it. Okay, so they're going to act. I see you! Okay. Hey, guys, I'm, I'm not going anywhere with you. Shit. Let's get rid of these side guys first. Deal with this one here. Nope. Oh shit. Oh shit. Fuck me. Tell Rookwood to find me himself. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood, thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. Mm. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Oh, Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. She's like a stereotypical, um, dressed like that means researcher out on the field, right? Very, um... I don't know, 30s get-up with the, the hat and the tool belt and the, the axe and everything else on her. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your Glasses. service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Mm, I like puzzles. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. Hmm. But I believe I have just unlocked a well, crucial let me just clue. Figure that out for you. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Ah. Mallow Sweet. Versatile that was, herb. Merlin that was my repeatedly yeah, mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if the Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? I would. We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Yeah, let's do it. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Okay. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Okay. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Get mallowy. My word! Ooh. Did you see that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm. Uh, I should this is hit it. territory. I'm okay. curious about these pyres. They need flames, right? Incendio. Yeah, buddy. That's the up. flames That's make the pyre sink. Okay. 
That's it. There we go. Easy. Today, I can hardly believe it. Mm hmm. Is that over there? Did I? Oh, that's where I went and uncovered that cave, huh? Okay. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. Okay. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Interesting. Okay. So we got a side mission right there, and then there was those chests over there in that little town. And now we have the... Greetings. I understand you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. Hmm, that sounds suspicious. Um... Dude, this game, man. Look at that. I wonder what side you, you come from. Uh, looking at, at the castle. And then again, birds flying. The dragonflies buzzing around. Ah. Just so cool, man. Looks so good. Look at that. Crickets, cricking, cricking. Okay, um, all of that there, hogs. I should have used incendiary on those enemies. And there's the cross ones. More cross ones. So this is taking me to Hogsmeade. Maybe I can complete those assignments on the way out there. Where am I? Wait, where am I? I'm here. Somehow I thought Hogsmeade was the other direction. I don't know why I thought that, but I thought I was always heading south when I went to Hogsmeade. There's just so much to explore around here. Blue flames out here. Okay. So there's two side quests here. There's these here. Okay, I think... I think this is a good um, place to go ahead and end this video. 
So I think in the next video what we'll do is we'll hit up the um, the small little town here, loot all the chests, maybe do these side quests, and then uh, make our way back to Hogsmeade. I might run it so I can complete the other um, quest, the um, the extra assignment, Beckett's assignment, to get Expelliarmus. So I need to cast Incendio on five enemies and roll seven more times. And then I guess before I get to Hogsmeade, I could stop with the cross wand, uh, crossed wands into the round three, right? So that's kind of a strung together activity here, right? So we go here, get the loots, do the side quests, wherever those take me. Um, make my way back. I think the crossed wands is right here in the castle. Yeah. Oh, so that's how you see the overall thing. Okay, yeah, so head back here to the cross wands, and then from here, I can look at the dragon. Is it the same dragon that attacked me? Okay, recap. Uh, here, loot, side quests, cross wands, out to Hogsmeade. And hopefully I can fight some people while I'm out there. So for now, let's get out of here. And I will leave you with a wonderful view of the castle, the crickets in the background, the night sky, the stars, the birds flying off in the distance. Looking at the main tower there, um, I don't know what's on the right side. Kind of looks like a church stained glass thing. But enjoy the view. I hope you're enjoying the game. I'll catch you in the next video, guys. See ya.